everyone at Sebrancy channel welcome to the kitchen today's video po featuring magluluto tayo ng branzino fish fillet how to make branzino fish fillet bake and grill medyo mabusisi po ang ating recipe but it's delicious guys it's rewarding pagkatapos po ng uh, recipe na naluto ninyo let's go guys samahan nyo ako hanggang sa dulo ng video na ito let's go Let's start. Let's go. The ingredients that we use for today's recipe. Para po sa complete ingredients, you can read in the description below. First step po is we need to wear gloves to avoid from stinkiness from the fish. Para hindi makakamoy. Kamay natin, we need to wear gloves at sa kahugasan natin yung fishy natin. This fish, we bought this on Trader's Joe Market. Nice siya guys kasi yung fish na nabili namin is clean at saka fresh. After cleaning the fish, we have to drain and set aside. Next is, we have to do the garlic. We use two head of garlic. Ito ang pinakamabusisi guys. Kasi kailangan mo pang balatan. Kailangan mo pang isa-isahin. We have available in the market na nabalatan na siya guys. But mas okay tong tayo ang magbabalat. It's because nandoon pa yung freshness ng garlic. Next is we have to press the garlic using the presser tool. If wala naman kayong presser tool, pwede yung butilya, doktokon. <laughs> Did you know guys that this garlic has a lot of uses? I use it in coughing like with flame. I use three lingin ng garlic with a lemon and put it with hot water and drink it. I use it also for pimples. Pero hugasan lang siya too big after 3 minutes. And then skin itchiness also is very good. It has antibiotic uh, properties. So, pag naatay mga like ubo, pwede siya gamiton as uh, initial remedies. But if ang imong ubo na gani, di na siya maulian, okay, go to the doctor na. Can, number four, it can help boost your immune system. Number five, it maintain blood pressure, but dili po di combine ang medication sa doctor. So ask your doctor first. Number six, kay, makatabang po dyan sa pinworm. Yeah! Next is, we have to add one tablespoon of broad soy sauce spoon of vinegar the vinegar has the power to break twist the chemical bonds that hold the proteins as a result the flavor will go inside the fish meat and make it tender and yum yum effect so even though it is not marinated overnight the vinegar did help kick in the flavor next is we have to add one teaspoon of curry powder Sprinkled with paper powder. One tablespoon of barbecue sauce. Squeeze one lemon. Additional paper. Then we have to mix together. Now the sauce is ready. Next thing that we do is we have to remove the excess water from the fishy using paper towel. So our sauce flavor will penetrate into the fish meat later
put in the ziplock bag. Usually I divide it into two bags. I use two big ziplock 10 inches by 9 or any available at home. It's okay also to use bowl or plate for mixing. Do this guys. Bakbakan, hala, mixing, evenly spread the sauce. Our sauce is very concentrated with the flavor. It's not so wet but it's concentrated because it's sapok na sapok sa flavor. So all you have to do is to spread lang siya evenly para lami this is done and you can make more with this and store it in the refrigerator and if you need it you can take it and cook it so for now guys kaya ito ang manin siyang lutuon so all we have to do is after mixing after bakbakan, you have to sit aside for 30 minutes and then we're gonna start to cook later. Time is up. Slice one lemon for garnish. Later, we're gonna use it on the top of the fish that we cook. So we add also two tomatoes slice then put it in a separate plate then slice the onion in this recipe, we use two large onion because we include to it the onion. Did you know guys that these onions are rich in vitamin C that help to fight infection and boost your immune system? So, kain tayo ng sibuyas. All the spices is ready. So, we need to add salt and pepper to taste. I used black peppercorn with grinder on the top. Yung pamitinta banga mo pa pa grind. Ayan, it's ready to cook. For our carbohydrates, we add potato and peel. Hindi siya pinalatan kasi it's good for digestion ang hindi pinalatan. Use a foil to cover the baking pan and then spread with olive oil. Next is we have to put all the marinated fishy on the baking pan. This is with our onion and tomato a while ago. We had to sprinkle with black pepper corn with grinder on the top. And additional rosemary. Place the potato. Instead of potato, guys, you can replace it with yam, kamote, saging, or banana. I add also additional carrots. Yeah, three. Yan, tapos. While we are waiting for the fish to cook, prepare lettuce. Thoroughly. Since we will eat this in raw, prepare this. Make a solution of 1 tablespoon of vinegar and 1 teaspoon of salt with water. Mix. And then, we soak the vegetables here for 1 to 2 minutes, not uh, more than. Because masasakbin ang nutrients natin kasi gumamit tayo ng salt 
salt is antibacterial guys so it's nice if there is bacteria or pesticides in dito sa gulay so mapok sa siya then we have to remove the excess water from the vegetables using this device so ito guys bakbaka na naman ako dito Good! Instead of using paper towel. So, ayan guys. Na-remove na ang excess water niya. So, we have to place in the plate. Magpi-plating na tayo. To check the fishy and the vegetables. Unahin natin tong potato be. Tusokin ang tinidor. Ayan. Loto na guys. At saka ready na sa plating. Masarap siya guys, hmm? Masarap. Top with lemon. And side dish natin yung mga gulay, carrots, potato, and tomato. Ayan. Ang galing, ang sarap. Thank you so much guys for watching. Ayan, enjoy your food. Thanks and bye. See you next time.